It's not far to go over there. No, it's not. So we just had somebody come by and tell us that Denali is out. We've been kind of bouncing around uh, different places in the state park and even like in the national park, we want to see Denali because that's kind of what it's about. Um, apparently it's showing itself, so we are going to try to get over there and see what we can see. Ski over, fella. Come on, let's go. Bring it a ball. I'm not sure. Oh, I see the snow the smoke's like coming off the top of it over there. Let's go. Mommy's ready. She wants to see it. Yeah, he's got an awesome view. Oh my goodness. If you want to be a camp post. <laughs> oh, the camp post view. Wow. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah. Oh, wow. There it is, Hensley. Pretty awesome. It's like super close up compared to everything we've seen. Yeah, usually it's really far in the distance. So Denali is the highest peak in North America, over 20,000 feet. It actually has two different peaks. One's just under 20,000, one's just above. It plays this like peekaboo, so it only comes out about 20 days a season. So it's pretty rare that you get to see it in the park. I think only 30% get to see it in the national park. But these are some awesome views in the state park and it's right outside your door. So that's pretty awesome. Look at these plants, Hensley, they land in the water. Isn't that cool? They're wow. Planes. I don't know if I'd ever get to ride one of these. You me sit down and relax too? Mm -hmm. This is a view. <laughs> so Marissa um, heard a bear last night, right? <laughs> <laughs> so I woke up in the middle of the night because our RV was shaking and I, sleepy, foggy brain, Marissa thought there is a bear trying to get in this airstream and I woke up in a panic and I did like mom bar on top of Nathan and nobody else was awake and nobody else knew what was going on and it wasn't shaking anymore so I thought I guess I had dreamed it but come to find out we found out from one of our neighbors that there was an earthquake last night and that makes total sense because I thought a bear was shaking our RV to pieces. And I had dreamed it all, but it was an earthquake. Yeah, I slept through the whole thing. So, <laughs> for family safety-wise, uh, Marissa's probably the first one to wake up if we're being attacked by a bear inside the RV. But it was pretty crazy. I don't think I've ever experienced an earthquake before. I mean, it was like our whole RV shook. I don't know the scale. I think it was like a 4.5 or a 5, something like that. I think. Are you excited, Hensley? What do you got? You already got you a plane too? Mm -hmm. She is super pumped. <laughs> That's a cool plane, isn't it? So the pilot, Jason, that's actually where we're boondocked right now is at their house. Um, their, his daughter, Ella, is also going to be coming with us. And so Hensley's already made great friends with her. Here she yes. is now. Are you flying it or is your dad flying it? My dad. Oh, okay. All right. I thought Just you checking. were flying. Just checking. I thought you might be flying. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry your dad isn't a pilot, Hensley. <laughs> Not quite that cool. <laughs> Do drive an Airstream. <laughs> <laughs> Jason and his dad have owned this company for like 26 years or something. Yeah. So that's that's really cool. And this is an absolutely gorgeous area. If you're coming from Denali to Anchorage, I mean, this is a great stop. And it's not as busy as it was up near the near Denali National Park in that area. So it's really nice that you can have like a slower pace here and you can be able to pick your days a little bit easier to fly because it isn't as crowded. Now you can fly, um, which that's the north side, right? We're on the south? Yeah. So the, the south apparently even has better views. So if you wait and get to the south, a lot of people don't think about that. They think they have to fly out near Denali. But if you get to the south side, you actually get some really awesome views from that side too. We're gonna get up to about 6,000 feet through here. This is the toe of the Ruth Glacier. The glacier is about 24 miles long. Uh, we'll end up going over Backside Glacier through a pass called 747 Pass. 
uh, vertical walls on both sides. Right through here is called the Great Gorge. That's deeper than the Grand Canyon. We'll be flying inside that, around into the Ruth Amphitheater, then over South Hunter Pass at 9,500 feet, over Base Camp, which is right here at 7,500 feet, and around Mount Hunter, down the Cahilton Glacier, which is the longest glacier in Alaska at 35 miles, and landing on a glacial lake down here. It's not quite on the map. It's called Shalatna Lake. And so this is the south side of Denali versus what we took last time was the north side, I guess, yes. right? And so we did a flyby, which it was it's a taxi, so oh, that right. took us just sort of a flyby by Denali to where we need to be over here in Kentishna. Um, but this, if you could fly on the south side, you get all this. My goodness. <laughs> so this is only accessible by plane. You hear the waterfall up there, Hensley? Yeah. You can hear it up there. Man. I see it. Wow. So I used to think I had the coolest job ever, like helping Look, deliver babies, there. but I think you win. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, don't, don't, don't let go of that rope. <laughs> How long have you been flying? 20 years, my whole life. Wow. I've been up here commercially for 18 years. Landing on this water out here is incredible. This is actually not even in a park. This is just part of Alaska. It's That's crazy. crazy. Yeah. Hey, what'd you think of that airplane ride? It was fun. Yeah? I can't even put into words how cool that experience was. Well, seeing those mountains and the clouds and the water and flying through gorges and then getting to land on the lake like this is one of the most awesome experiences. It's really hard to even put into words. Go Hensley, you did really good. Socks and shoes are off. They do that in the car and a plane, I guess. So Jason, the pilot is also remodeling his second Airstream. 
he's buying one every few years and then they travel in a little bit and then once they get done, they he sold their first one, bought that one, fixing it up. They plan on traveling in that too. Alaska, <laughs> uh, they definitely have a down season. So they take that down season. They usually go to lower 48 and travel and spend time there. Um, a lot of people in this area do that. And they love having an Airstream to do that with. Loves his rivets. Isn't that cool, babe? I love yes. this. So Jason got this at a very good price. <laughs> well, somebody brought it to Alaska and just kind of st stuck it in a barn for 30 years. It's Fantastic a shape. Like it doesn't have to be 58. Yeah, you think it'd have to be gutted and like, but it, he said the body's in fantastic shape. The inside didn't have to be gutted. So man, what a find. The older ones have this tail. You see how it comes down kind of, it's so cool. Then it comes straight down. It kind of comes out the back right there. That's how you can tell if it's a, I guess I'll call it a classic classic. <laughs> oh, look how shiny it is. Oh, cool. This is super cool. I love that. So you're still kind of buffing out the inside, huh? I'm gonna leave this kind of uh, oh, okay, kind of stainless brush. steel I love brush. Look. I love the shiny outside. Oh, this is nice. Yeah. That's not factory, is it? That's a sink right there. Oh, man. Awesome. Hensley's already making which bed's hers. Oh, I better know which one's gonna be yours. Original stove. You're supposed to be on my side. Original hot water heater. It's a 10 gallon hot water heater. 10 gallons? That's more than ours. Look at that old thing. Wow. I checked it out though. It's still working? It's legit. It's legit. I love the couch. So you could take this outside. You said you did that with the last one. Yeah. That's cool. His bed here, hers there? Or what's Yep. I think I'll put the TV here. Okay. And then it can swing over so we can watch from there. Or we can have watch it outside. Yeah. You gonna make this expand out for a bed for you guys? It's gonna go out 28 inches. Okay. So it'll be a little bit bigger than a queen. I love two burners. We never use our three. It's a waste of space. It take up all this to have a three burner right now. So rear bath. So you move the toilet off of here. Yeah, put the put this there. right there. Which are you just really made the composting toilet? What are you thinking on the yeah. toilet? Oh, okay. Well, not composting. It's right here, actually. It's one of those just uh, the bottom. Oh, just like a camping one? Yeah, you can just take it in. Yeah. Unbelievable flight. I'll tell you what, man. Seeing stuff by plane in this area is just crazy. Uh, the taxi was awesome. But then coming over here on the south side and seeing this and, and just, man. I mean, they both have their own strengths. For the taxi, you kind of got to speed into Denali and see some of the mountains. You got to see the, the park, and you could see the wildlife. If you're in it for the wildlife in the park, the taxi's great. But if you're in it, you're like, hey, I just want to see some mountains, and I want to see Denali. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> this is incredible. It's the coolest thing I think we've ever done. It was super cool. It was amazing. It was yeah. amazing. Um, and this has been a fantastic company to work with. I can tell you they're just honest stand-up guys that are running this. Uh, highly recommend coming here. But whether you're seeing Denali by foot from the state park or the national park or by air, uh, man, just come check out Denali. Uh, we're going to go ahead and call it a day. Um, we're going to end with some uh, pretty cool footage from the flight because that stuff just never gets old. Uh, <laughs> and we will catch you guys later. So I heard you two are selling tours. She's going to fly the plane. So she flies the plane and what do you do? You just drink the coffee? No, she drinks the coffee. There you go. There's a ticket for you. Oh! She just hands out the brochures and flies the plane. <laughs> <laughs> and, dr and drinks the coffee.